Yo, what's up, man? This is motherfucking J-Ron, man. <laughs> Just watch and learn, man. Scratch DJ Academy. Scratch! <laughs> All right, today, this is what we're going to learn. We are in Logic Pro X, and I am going to show you how to build some chord progressions through the MIDI chord trigger in RetroSynth. So, let's get started, man. Okay, so I got three tracks right here that I'm mainly using. I have one of Retro Synth with my chords and the chord trigger. Then I have also a machine open with some drums. And then I also have a lead right here, which is another Retro Synth, you know? And uh, this is how you pull it up. All you do is you go to track, press new track, software instrument track, what happens is a software instrument comes up. Yeah, so then you open it up and then you can go to Retro Synth. Just press stereo, click open. And then you we already have presets also. And I did I went to a preset and I'll show you guys. I have it right here. So we're using the mellow brass. And you know, so you go to synth brass, mellow brass right here. And then, but what's the main thing we need is, cause I'll just play regular notes without the chord trigger, but with the chord trigger. You know. So we have some chords right there, but what you want to do is you want to go and pull up the chord trigger. All you have to do is just like we did the retro synth, but this is going to be in the MIDI effects. So it's right up top from your VST. And right when you pull it up, there's going to be arpeggiator right under there is going to be chord trigger. So then we pull up chord trigger. And the thing about chord trigger is you have your trigger keys, so you can map out you can map out how far you want to go with doing the your you know, just depending on how maybe your you got a small keyboard like this or an eighty eight keyboard, so you would obviously keep going and pulling that out. But we're gonna do one section here. I'm gonna show you one section in the C two section. And what we're going to do is build chords. So we're going to start on the C. And basically like this with the C, I just basically made, uh, you know, not some hard chords. Because most chords that you use in a popular song are not really crazy, super hard chords. That would probably be more of a jazz if you were doing something like that. Or, But what we do is we press up top we go to learn and all you have to do is you click on this click on that one right what, but what we're going to do is we're going to clear it so go back press learn then we click on the one we want to play and then we add the notes down here so right now that's a C major chord and then I just unclick learn Now we have the C major right here being played. And then if you want, right now we're in multi-mode, but if we switch to single mode, it's just going to transpose your, your, your key up a, a step up every time you play it. So every other key, it'll be same C chord, but just transposed. But we don't want that. We want to have multiple chords in here. So if we, if maybe you're coming up with a bridge or even coming up with the main part of your song, you know, you have all your chords. So we have a C chord and we, I, I put some other chords right here. So map these out. Even the black keys. Yeah. 
So that's all our chords I have mapped out. So you can even play them with notes. You know, you can, if you, you know, if you got a mod wheel, you know, or even if you want to, you know, you know, put a step up or step down. You can also do that as well. It works just like a regular MIDI keyboard. So I already made a beat. So here's the beat right here with the chords. So I already got all my uh, chords mapped out. So uh, let's play around to see. See if you like anything. And then it also shows you the notes that you're playing exactly. And this can also work too with something like main stage if you want to play something out live. So main stage is the live version of Logic Pro X. So obviously this will work with that. So if you already have everything mapped out for your song, you can use these when you're out live DJing or playing with your band or something like that, performing. And uh, all right, so I got some drums already whipped up and I got... I got something I kind of like with uh, with that chord progression, and uh, let's see how it fits. All right, and that's basically how you would use your chord trigger in your tracks. It's J. Ramakir again. You know, shout out to my brother Val, man. You know, shout out to my sister, my other half of Ken. You know, Vanny Zoe. Be on the lookout for that album Reality Rap coming soon. Boop, 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 boop.